It's me, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. I have a quick video today. I always say I have a quick video, don't I? Normally it goes on for way too long than anyone needs, but I have two things to talk about today. One is a piece I picked up from Louis Vuitton that I mentioned that I wanted ages ago. So I went in last week and got, excuse the state of me, I've just come in from work, so that's why I'm in the depressing black attire and I look like I've been dragged to a bush. So moving along. Um, as I say, I've been wanting this for a while and I've done my research on it and what one I wanted. And it is, of course, a piece from Louis Vuitton. This is the bag it came in. I love the new packaging. The colour is really nice. And that's the big bag it came in for something so small. My essay, Caroline in Brown Thomas, is amazing. It was actually so busy, I had to go back twice, not three times, to get service. So that's always a good sign. And this is the little box it came in. And I have actually worn this once but I did put it back in again just to show you guys and it came in a lovely little pouch like this and it is of course what I have been talking about and what I've wanted for ages it's the Louis Vuitton belt with the LV logo on the front in gold in the Damier EB now I got my receipt emailed to me and I thought there'd be a name with it but it actually just says the article is a CELV 25 mini uh, Damien had been in the 80 centimetre in length um, and I'll put the article number or the, the code of the piece down below in the description box and stuff so I was really mixed about whether to get the Damien had been one or whether to get the monogram and I tried both on and initially I wanted the monogram even though I'm more of the, the Damien kind of girl but the reason I didn't pick was the inside of it is the untreated leather and it's a very very pale kind of suede and if I was wearing anything dark which I plan on putting it with this or dark denim jeans or anything like that it's gonna get color transfer so that's why when I tried it on and that and the two of them looked really nice I actually did prefer this to be honest now in saying that I don't know in the future would I get it in maybe with a different kind of buckle or a different design on it I don't know but that's the one I went for in the end and as you can see it just has the little slide in here there is wider ones for gents but I think for ladies this one is probably or if you're very small frame this could be ideal for a lady or gent um, and as I say it just slides in there's a little you see there's a little slot there and it goes in and just it just clips in here like that and you've got a good if you one two three if you've got five sections to actually it's really really tight when you get it on you can't get it off I do be pulling at it now, my only problem is I'm a little bit weary about the LV scratching because I have seen ladies on Instagram that have had their belts on, worn their bags crossbody and scratched them so I'm still a little bit minding it at the minute because I would have like if your watch or anything on or my tan looks awful. Forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. This is about Louis Vuitton. Um if you had like your bracelet or your watch or something if it's down and you'd be scratching and working that kind of thing. So I am a little bit cautious of it for a minute because as you can see it is a really really high shine. Oh I thought that was my cord. Yes, okay. It's got a really, really high shine to it, so um, I think it would scratch really easy. I probably would have loved it if it was like a matte finish, but I, they don't come with that, or our store didn't have it. When I looked online, I couldn't see anything with a matte finish, so that's what I went for. I'll pop in some shots of it, of me wearing it in a minute as well, just to see what it's like. Um, yeah, so that's it. It's the, what did I say? It's the CELV 25 Mini, and I got the 80 centimeter. I probably could have went with something a little bit smaller, because when I wear it high up on my waist, it's kind of it falls slightly. If that makes sense. Um, but when it's on my trousers, which you'll see in a minute. Okay, so I'm actually in my work clothes now. Um, I generally wear like black trousers and a black shirt or a black dress. And that's kind of what it looks like. It's quite slim fitting, as you can see. Um, and the little LV logo, would, you could either have it sitting just there if you wanted. As you can see, sorry, the light. And if you wanted to, you could also put it in the middle. Um, and as I say, with a little clip on it, it's really, really easy to adjust now. But I just think it's gorgeous with something as simple as a black trousers, black skirt, black shirt. And also, as I say, when I put it on my black dress, it's really nice too. And hopefully, as I say, I'll style it with uh, black, sorry, not black, white jeans and a white uh, shirt or something like that. But yeah, so that's what it's like on. I think it's just the 
perfect size. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is, I don't know whether you've noticed as I'm chatting away to you, besides the fact that I look like I've been dragged to a bush, I got lip injections, which I've been wanting for a while. Um, I got them in the Aurelia Clinic with a doctor called Dr. Salmon. I think that's how you pronounce it. He was really, really nice. I'd done my research. I looked to loads of people on YouTube to see what it entailed, what was the best thing to get for me. And to be honest with you, I am a little bit disappointed because I don't see, I'll do a close up in a minute. They're not as full as I was expecting them to be. He used one mil of the Juvederm, I think. And yeah, it was one mil. That's what he starts out with. His whole thing was he doesn't give you over too big of a lip, I suppose, to start you off because then you can go bigger. But when I came out, they were actually really nice. Now I'll come up close. This is a scary close up, so just be warned. Um, I could certainly see, I won't pout, I'll just relax, right? So I could see definitely when I came out, they were really, really nice and full. I bruised terrible over here, which I'll show you. And you can still see, I'm still really swollen here. I got them done yesterday at 11. I know it's Saturday evening and it's like seven o'clock and I'm still really swollen. I had no um, dental block things that they inject. Oh, my tan is awful. Um, I hadn't got any of the injections that they put into numb. I think it's like a dental block and they also use a numbing cream. I've seen loads of people get that done where they numb the whole lips. He did nothing like that. He just sat me down, talked me through it. He told me he wasn't gonna make them too big. He told me I had good shape to my lips so my shape wouldn't be changing he just wanted to fill them out now when I put on my lipstick this morning sorry I have another mirror there <clears throat> I found that I didn't have to line them as much as I might do and there was certainly a fullness but it's not as full as I want I want them a lot I want to look like I've had something done and to be honest with you I don't so I'm going to come up close and I'll show you the bruising if you can see it just there and I have some here I'm actually slightly bruised here too. Excuse the tan again, as you can see. But to be honest with you, see the way this side is a lot more, I think, swollen still than this, but I don't know. There's definitely more fullness, but I was expecting, when I came out, they were like, oh, I'm in love with them. And then by about half two, they seem to have disappeared. And I was really, really disappointed. So I'm actually going back on Wednesday to show them that they're not the way Oh, I'm still swollen here and that can be expected for maybe two days afterwards but I'm going to say to him like can I have another meal I'm going to be one of these people am I in a couple of weeks I'm just going to have once you start oh now we have funny sun going on um yeah so I thought I'd share it with you they're not sore that's another thing he just sat me down the local anesthetic is actually in the filler so when he sat me down and he injected it in it was like two and two and two and two I think and then maybe one here and there I didn't I've had sore spots to be honest, it was nothing like people. I know everyone's pain threshold is different, but I didn't feel anything. It was literally just like somebody just kind of doing that. There was nothing mad at all. And afterwards, the soreness, no. I went out and I had lunch and no, I was fine. I didn't feel anything. So maybe, I don't know if I'd have got more in, would it have? I don't, I can't put any more in, I suppose. They only really start at one mil, so he does anyway. So enough of me waffling on. When I get them done on Wednesday, I will be doing another video at the end of the week. Or during the week and I will show you my results from that so can you see I'll show you again the little there's the blue there which looks awful that side didn't bruise it really at all but I don't know what you guys think I didn't I can see the swelling even here as I'm talking so yeah I will keep you updated um about it when I get more done on Wednesday that's if he'll put more in hopefully he will because I didn't really want this and going on holidays next week so I want to look a little bit fresher or I don't know and I actually was I have been using I got a dental mold made from my dentist and I'm using the bleach where you get the little syringe and you put the bleach in and I have to say that has really impressed me I have not got the straightest teeth in the world but they are slightly discolored but I feel since I've been putting that in that's about two weeks and I think they're they're gone so white so that I was really impressed with more than the lips but I'm not giving up yet I will wait and get some more done so Thanks ever so much guys for watching my quick vid. Um, I've, as I say, I have a list of videos coming up. I'm tagged in a few and I just, just get in the time to do them. Like I'm running from work and looking at the clock and trying to get everything done. But yeah, that's life and it's great. So um, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I can't even speak. Subscribe and um, leave any comments and notes because I love to chat and I've just... 
love getting to know loads of people and I'm slowly getting more and more subscribers, which is great, which is what I want to do and get to know more people. So, oh God, I'm just like the biggest waffler ever, am I? Thanks so much for watching. I'll try and be more ladylike and I will fill you in more again soon. Talk to you again soon. Thanks guys. Bye.